All right. You ready? Ready and steady. All right. Damn, I burned this hole already. <laughs> what was that, you? I don't think that was me. Oh, fuck, did I do that? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Destabilized Podcast. Just a little disclaimer. Um, honestly, it's going to... It's going to talk a lot deep into, like, personal matters in life. And um, there's going to be some stuff that might be for some audience and then a different audience to listen to. So, I mean, I guess just be aware of who's watching and who's listening. And listening to the conversations is going to be your best move and your motive. (coughs) Damn, Nacho. (laughs) (coughs) My bad. That was on me. <laughs> well, with that being said, let's get started with this episode. Hi, my name's Dev. I'm not, I'm, I guess I'm the person who starts it, started this thing. Yeah, man, you're the host. I'm the host? You're the creator. I'm, the host. That's what it's called. I'm a host. Yeah, you're a host. Okay. All right. And I'm Nacho or Ignacio, but call me how you like, Ignacio or Nacho. Really, it's up, up to you. Yeah. Well, Nacho's going to be a recurring guest star. I mean, I guess he's going to be more of like a side character while I guess I'm the main character. And then we'll have guest stars along the way. I'm just here. <laughs> I'm not, like, just in case, you know, I'm just here. Guys, we're not good at this. We're not going to lie. All right. It's our first one. Our very first podcast episode. So. And um, I've been getting it set up. I've been thinking about it for the last three days. And I finally got everything set up this morning. And I was like... Let's just record the first episode right now. We're going to do it, all right? And I want to start off with a song of the day. And I have it in my playlist, but I don't know exactly what it's called. So, oh, oh, oh. It's Let Me Break, Let You Break My Heart Again. Damn. Yeah, you know you know what that is, right? No. You don't know what it is? Oh, uh, 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 fuck. I literally was on Twitter the other day looking at the name of this person. Hang on. So you don't even know the name of the person? I don't know how to pronounce it. There's a specific way of pronouncing it. Here. Um, like, this this girl right here. Le Fay? Le Fay. Why is she look familiar? I don't know, but here, here. I'll, I'll go ahead. Like the rest of the podcast can't hear, but I can. I can show it to you. I think it's a TikTok song. Fuck it. I'll show you the rest of it later. That is so calming. It's so calming, right? Wait, what? That's what I've been thinking what? about recently. And I've been listening to that Whoa. song, a couple of like upbeat, but like yet to me calming. But like then you get those actual calming songs. Nacho is eating a full sandwich right now and I respect it. <laughs> Nacho got off work today. I went to his job and I was like. Wrong. Well. I was surprised and shocked, but... <laughs> nah, I'm, look, let's talk about Nacho at work real quick. Mm-hmm. It was all girls. Like, no, like, not working with him, but coming in as customers. Yeah. And then, I no, swear no, to not God... Not girls, not girls. Women, bro. Women. <laughs> not women. girls. <laughs> women. All right. Did I hear one of them say, hey, Nacho, to you today? Or was I going crazy? Like, did one of those people know you? Think you're going crazy. Okay, because the, I swear to God, I like I, I was like maybe I am going crazy, but like I swear one of them was like, "Hey, Nacho," and I was like, "No, nah, not like that." I was <laughs> like, "What?" Like <laughs> I was like, "All right, Nacho, get it, I guess." I mean, shit. Hell no. I was telling my name like that. I don't have no name tag for them to know, so unless they ask for it, but nah. But nah, bro. Those two uh, ladies getting their lunch today, they were funny. Because, like, when you recognized me, you were taking their order. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> funny as hell, yeah. I was so, like, I, I think I was just so confused. I was, like, ba- I was like baffled. I was like, what the fuck's going on now? Nah, bro, it's because, like, uh, 
We I uh, met her this week. Okay, that's yeah. yeah. She's, I think she's a regular, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um, but nah, this cause she saw a fucking rainbow that uh the, a Monday. It was Monday when I saw her. She saw a rainbow, a fucking bright ass rainbow. So I was just like, that's dope. So we bonded over that. We became friends, do work. I mean, not really friends. She's flirting with you. She's married. You don't see the ring on her finger. What you mean, bro? She's a married woman, bro. That's the reason why she's just a friend. I don't go for married women. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. That's fucked up. That's some, stu- that's some nasty shit. Yeah. I didn't even go. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that's pool game on me, but that's some nasty shit on them, you know? I mean, I guess. I guess. I mean, I, I can only guess. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I would say this, bro. I don't think you saw them, but like... No, you didn't. Uh, basically, bro, it was just... I mean, she's not that bad, bro. Like, she's a military woman, bro. And was she by her friend? They're fucking scary. Like... Damn, bro. I worked at Black... She was, like, she was like, no, sir. Yes, sir. I was just like, okay, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Say less. I swear to God. I don't know. Oh, she's Navy, actually. No. Oh, that's worse. I mean, it's not worse. They're just, like, more badass. Yeah. They look more badass. <laughs> like, they like they look like they would take your head off. <laughs> like, Basically. The army would be like, oh, I guess we're going to give you a pat on the back right now. Yeah, I guess. I guess <laughs> it. Respect to all of our troops, but the Navy's fucking scary. Uh, they scare me, all right? But I And I reside in the United States. Like... <laughs> I think the army's kind of scary. The you know? army is really scary. I'm just gonna say it right now. Yeah. I'm just gonna say it right now. Uh, oh yeah. The army is really scary. <laughs> oh yeah, I believe that 100. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, bro. Um, but yeah, I deleted Hinge today. All right. Yeah. You did mention that earlier, and I said, mm-hmm. "Fucking wait." Yeah. You, you gotta that. wait because we gotta see what's going on. You gotta tell us right here, right now, what's going on. I mean. I was a dumbass. I got hinge, you know, but I wasn't using it to like hook up or anything. I was, I just had it just because, to be honest. But today, I like you know, TikTok, you know, your typical TikTok shit and everything. Honestly, I'm done with like with dating websites and everything like that. Like for real, for real. Like I'm, I may be like barely 20 years old, but. Fuck all that shit, man. Like, it's just like I respect. Like, I have no disrespect to any of the people that do it. You know, it's just I don't know. I'm fucking done with hookup culture. Like, like the the fuck. You know, I'm done, bro. It's just you gotta have respect for your body, female or male. It doesn't matter. You know, it's just you gotta have respect. You know, you can't just let anybody just walk upon you like that. And if like. And like sucks to say, you know, a lot of us we fall into this trap and we trust people so hard, you know, that like we do let them. But then in our society now it's just like they see their body as like oh like uh, it's just like oh, it doesn't matter, you know, it's just as an object, you know. They treat themselves as objects now. And I think that's like that's it is for everybody. Honestly, like at this point, like, I've seen some r- triple digits in the body counts. That's disgusting. Male and female. That is disgusting. Yeah. You yeah. saw, and you know the TikTok I sent you the other day. Yeah. Okay, like, listen, I get going and having your fun and shit, you know? But, but like, that fun. was brutal. But that's not having fun, bro. Like, uh, here, let me give some reference real quick. I got you. Okay. So, for reference, I sent him a TikTok that I found on Twitter. Um... It's this girl. She broke up with her boyfriend 10 days prior to this. And if I'm not mistaken, at the time she said 23 bodies or 22? 22 or 23? Um, 22. 22? Okay. She grew 22 bodies within a 10-day span. Now... For anyone who needs the math done on that, that's 2.2 bodies every day because I did the math on it while I was taking a shit. And so, uh, like, that means if you take the other point two, 
That means she had sex at least with two people every day for ten days, but on one of those days, it was three people. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I get going to have your fun, but, like, were you even, like, were you sexually, like, protected? Do you have STDs? Are you pregnant? And if you're pregnant, how are you going to figure out who... Are you actually proud? It, like, who? Who's going to do that? Um, well, I hope actually, it was a skit. Like, are you actually proud? But like, skit or not, you actually proud of saying that shit, even as a joke, you know? Like, it's not funny, you know? It's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Ma'am, it doesn't even matter if you're a guy if you say that shit. That's not a flex, bro. It really isn't. I mean, like I said, twist your own... A lot of people, you know, a lot of guys that think they're men, that like demean other guys because they don't want, they don't want multiple girls with them, you know, they don't, just because they don't want to fuck a girl, you know, instantly, you know, sorry, there's still good guys out here, we don't want to fuck, but when we do, we trust the bitch so hard that they break us. Now that's up. Now after that point, that's up to us whether or not we let them break us, or they break us, but we still gotta fucking keep fighting. Meaning like, shit, you heard him, but at least he going, he moving. That's what matters. I can accept. I can accept that. Yeah, bro. So, I mean, it's just like you know, I don't know, bro. Like, hookup culture, body counts. I don't know. Like, I can't say. Don't do it to each your own. You do your thing. I'm just done with it. That's all I got to say. You know, another thing I got to say is because, like, I found, like, I found God, you know, like, he's always been there with me. I've always been, like, a religious guy, a religious guy, but it's not until, like, this year after a recent relationship where, like, <sighs> my mind opened up to so many things, and I've realized... I've been disrespecting myself for the longest. But it's just like, like I said, to each their own. You do you, but I'm fucking done and tired of that shit. And I'm done seeing it. Like, I really am done. It's affecting our fucking society very bad. More kids are more depressed. More kids don't even want to be in the real world. More kids are going through the cycle, you know. You know what I mean? It's just like, make it make sense. Guys, girls, make it make sense that you want a loyal girlfriend or boyfriend, but you're scared to cheat on them. I mean, you're scared that they're gonna cheat on you or anything like that. That's just like everybody's fucking mindset. And what, what ends up happening, y'all either cheat on them first or y'all leave them first because of that fucking fear. And or a fucking a girl that's hoeing around, or a girl or a guy that's hoeing around goes to a girl or a guy that doesn't want to hoe around, but like this person that the persons that are hoeing around, they just want to fuck them so bad that they'll lie to them that they want to commit a relationship. Like that's fucked up, but yet that's so normal to do now. It's so normal to do. I can tell you one thing. It's still not excused, but it definitely has gotten better. Like, it's not like people, like, I feel like I, you start to look for, like, you're so worried about the last thing, you know, your, like, last relationship. Like, take example, the thing I had from a year ago or a year and two ago now to, like, the most recent thing I had. Like, yeah, I started to notice things and then I started to overthink it, you know, because I saw all of those things with the thing that happened two years ago. And I'm like, something's not going right. But like, I just had to sit there and wait because uh, I wasn't getting any information ever. And which is surprising from a person who strictly said from day zero, <laughs> they wanted communication, you know? And I think that's what, I think that's what always happens too. Like, you get caught up in like the, oh yeah, communication's always the number one key thing. Mm -hmm. But then it never happens from the party who said it. And it's fucked. <laughs> I mean, well, 
There's a lot of things that are fucked for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I can for sure say in that part is, you know, when the one party tells you that communication or whatever, you know, it's like how you said, they lack that part when they want it. You know, it's also like relationships, there's going to be a lot of fighting, but there should be more understandments than fights. And that's like the wrong part, you know? Once you tell yourself or once you tell somebody I am mature, think back again, look back. And they might not be all that mature. You're really not. Because, like, who the fuck tells themselves or tells people that they mature? I've never told a single soul that, oh, fuck, I am so mature that this, this, and that in public or, like, to people I don't know. Nah, bro, they tell me I'm mature. That's how I know. I can speak my shit because people tell me. You know? And it's just, like, if people tell you, that's a whole different thing. But that's because you're carrying on what they say. If you say it straight off the bat from the beginning, you never met this person. You gotta think back and look back. You know, being mature is just understanding a person for real. Or understanding your situation, understanding a different POV. That's what being mature is. I'm not gonna lie, we're not perfect, we lose our cool. You know, we human, we're not perfect. We ain't gonna like always be the persons to keep cool to always like no we're gonna break out we're gonna lash out (laughs) and that kind of like reminds me like both of those things you just said maturity when someone calls you mature how does that make you react like does it motivate you or does it dig you down because from a personal perspective it digs me down whenever i get called mature that's when the pressure starts to kick in. I don't want to be called mature. I just want to be like looked at mature, you know? Like, I don't want to be talked at as if like I was a kid, you know? I just want to be talked at as like, okay, like, hey, Devin, can you go do this, that? Like, if, 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 if I was like talking to my boss or something like that, you know? Okay. So like, I wouldn't be one of like, Honestly, that DB shit, I, like, I don't want that. I, like, if you want, I feel like the best way to be called mature is by, like, a person showing, like, I think you're mature, but I'm not going to tell you that, you know? Does that make sense in a way? Yeah. Because, like, I don't want to be called mature. I just want to be, like, talked to as an adult. Talk, come up to a person who's, like, you know what, maybe... Dev might have something to share with me about my situation. Oh, yeah. Like, that. That is what I look at maturity as, you know? Well, I mean, everybody does. I mean, that's what what I mean, you know? Nobody's going to call you mature. Nobody's really going to say that they're mature, you know? I hate saying that I'm mature. Exactly. Because then I don't know what to do. How do I react? Well, it's not that, you know? It's just like... It's not they don't straight up say I'm mature, you know. Obviously, they're not going to straight up say it. I'm probably contradicting myself a lot, whatever. But, no, it's more like they put on, they, they word it in a way to say that I am mature, you know. Like, psh, a slow kid shit, you know. Like, I'm an adult. Yeah. Which, mm. I am an adult, but like, like... There's people that I've met that... You know, I let them say their shit, you know, because it's funny, you know. But, like, I'm just quiet. But I'm not quiet because I'm zoned out. I'm quiet because I'm, like, I'm looking at your perspective. I'm this perspective that we're in right now. I'm looking at a different perspective. I'm looking at that perspective. I'm understanding you in so different POVs. I'm like, damn, bro, I know, like, the truth is there, you know. Yeah. That's what I believe maturity is. It's just, like... Knowing our surroundings and knowing like what's what's actually happening, and then like when somebody calls you mature, you know it's more like it's not because of like how you are. It's just it's just how you act, you know, in a situation, reality, you know. 
And that's what maturity is. It's just how you react to a situation and to what you really, like that shows you who you are. Yeah. Now, let's just say, <clears throat> for example, fuck bro, I can get drunk as hell, you know? And then I can let my drunkness let loose and I can like fucking break your TV, bro. Like, <laughs> and blame it on my alcohol, you know? <laughs> yeah. But in our reality, bro, you can still realize what you're doing in your actions. No bullshit, you know? Alcohol, I would say. Until you black out, that's what It's just thinking. a changer, you know? It's just a it's just a rotator in your like system. It rotates well, what your like what your normal reaction would be. But like alcohol can't cause the feelings you're feeling unless you have alcohol poisonous poison like poisoning like that's what yeah. poisonous i can't talk today no, you i'm can't. also baked as hell i forgot the stream i've been lollygagging low-key but we're gonna do that after this <laughs> i mean shit we're gonna keep smoking we're gonna keep streaming yeah what, what was i gonna say like yeah like alcohol can't it can't cause feelings like that's like you can't blame alcohol for how you're feeling, you know, at all or ever, you know. No, alcohol no. is just a mood changer, not a feeling changer. Like I and I feel like people will get that. It might be like it sounds dumb. Everything I say sounds dumb, you know. Like this is a this is more of a podcast, like a like a 101 for, you know, like. Dummies who can understand. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, like... It's kind of weird to understand this, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's just like a thing you have to go through in order to realize, or a thing you have to see in order to realize. Well, I mean, yeah. Right now, I think we're going to take a... We're going to take a brief intermission because we're going to go back to a little Q&A after this, and then we'll end off with uh, some stuff afterwards. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys right after this. All right. We'll see you right after this. <laughs> what was this thing, though? Hey. Hey, bro. <laughs> you can't hate on people for the longest stuff. Guys, Nacho and I were just having a little conversation about hate. Yeah. And, you know, I think hate might go next with, I'm going to be part of this, and Nacho will be part of this both. Um... We're gonna talk about, we're gonna do a little Q&A. You're gonna get to know us, and I'm gonna ask everyone this question, whoever's on here throughout these times on the podcast, these questions. So like, it's not gonna be a non-exclusive or exclusive thing. It's, it's like, it's literally for everybody, everybody. So I'll start off with the first question while I'm packing this bowl, and then I'll, I'll hand it off to you afterwards, Nacho, I got you. <laughs> so, it's the first question is like how are you feeling and whenever i wrote that down i should have been more specific because i want to know how you've been feeling how i've been feeling how you've been feeling and how i've been feeling is a cluster of feelings sadness and madness in myself madness in myself sadness for all i've been happy throughout here and there and like, sure, happiness might be my third thing, but happiness should always be on top. It shouldn't be the third thing. And 100. So like, yeah, like, that's how I've been feeling. How have you been feeling? I've been feeling... <clears throat> I can say I've been feeling with a lot of mixed emotions as well. But mostly, I've been feeling like... I've been just... Well, I'm going to just say this. I just asked myself today, why why aren't you happy, you know? You know, like, you, why aren't, like, it's such a simple, weird question, but, like, I, like literally, I was just like, why aren't you happy? You listen to pirate software. It's just, like, <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I guess, like, subconsciously, I guess. <laughs> but it's just, like, I clip, bro, like, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why, but it's just like, I was just thinking too much about 
people. I'm just like, why am I thinking about them? You know, I should always be thinking about myself. It sounds selfish, you know, to say, but like, when you single and you got like no priorities, you gotta make priorities for yourself. So like, I was just asking myself, why the fuck am I thinking about other people that have no more use in my life, you know? Just a waste of thoughts, waste of energy for sure. So lately, I've been feeling like shit. But today, made me feel even better. Even feel less like shit, that's all I can say. I respect that. Like I'm getting there, but I ain't really there. I think getting there, building your way back up to the top, will be your number one priority once you go through something major in your life. Oh yeah, once you hit the fucking icebreaker for sure. Cause like, <clears throat> I'm a godly man, bro. You know, like the way I think of it, it's just like, I think God put me in this situation again to make me realize truth, but I think he made it hurt really bad so I can actually fucking see. Yeah. Yeah. And like, for like the first couple of days, I ain't gonna lie, I was always like, why, why, why? And then, you know, the third, fourth, fifth day, I was just like, thank you. I was just saying, thank you. <clears throat> I, I, you know, it's just like, it's repetition. You know what I'm going through and uh, part of what you're going through, like you told me it's repetition. You know, it's just It was hard to get out of bed this morning. There you go. I could say that with what I what we talked about on a personal basis yesterday and it did transfer over to today because it it did confuse me, you know? It confused me. I was a little confused. So I had some mixed feelings about it. And then I just realized like it's another day gone by. You know, it's not gonna take two weeks. It's just not, and I gotta respect that. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was an accident. I don't know if it was on purpose. That's not for me to find out right now. I tried finding out. I found out that I couldn't find out. <laughs> and that was it. So I streamed yesterday and like, I just, I did it, you know? I mean, it sucks, but all we can do is just move forward. <clears throat> One thing for sure that we cannot allow ourselves to do is pity ourselves. We cannot pity ourselves, you know? It's just know your wrongs, know that you fucked up, if you fucked up. That's really it, if you fucked up. Not all the time that you fucked up. If you fucked up. So, like, that's the problem. Like, I've realized this, like, kind of earlier. I'm, like, so trying to accept it. But there's going to be people they are going to try to blame you for shit. Obviously, everybody's going to like, no fucking shit. Nah, dead ass. Like, you, you going to think you fucked up. Like, you was the cause. You was the problem. You can't be the cause, you can't be the problem. You just gotta be aware of it and you gotta accept it. But, a lot of the times, there are people like such as I, such as you, if that's you, that aren't the problem, aren't the cause, but get manipulated into thinking that they are the problem and that they are the cause. And then you get stuck in this fucking vortex and it just keeps going. You can't get, you just can't escape the thought, what the fuck did I do wrong? Where did everything went wrong? He's gotta like, and this is the part where you gotta like, go back and you gotta know yourself. You know, this is like, now you you for real gotta know yourself. This is when I go back to saying like, are you happy? Like who? Like what are like? Like have y'all ever asked ourselves, man? What do you like to do for fun? It's a weird ass question, but ask yourselves, what do you like to do for fun? If your mind's blank, 
Get new hobbies. Get more shit to do. You have a lot of free space. I have a lot of free space. You can ask me. It's gonna be anime and gym. <laughs> That's it. Now I can tell people I want to do this, this, and this, and that. But it's not true because I haven't really been doing it. I'm not doing it. It's not part of me yet. So when you, when you talk about hobbies to people, do you actually do the hobbies? How well do you know yourself? What do you want to do for yourself? That's a question that we always forget. We forget to put ourselves first because we waste so much time and energy in other people a lot of times. And that's okay, but it's just something that we cannot allow ourselves to do. Now, I'm not saying to put your like selfish ass first. Don't become selfish. Just know who you are. Know your terms. Sorry. Grow your roots. Stop. Stop being a vine and stop like leeching off people. Grow your own roots. Become your own tree. You know you ain't gotta be no vine and follow up another tree. <coughs> Be your own thing. It's easier said than done, but no, we lose we lose track of what what we really need to do. And like having a girlfriend or boyfriend is nice and uh, but like unless they cool with you being broke as hell, fine by me, bro. Go for it. But if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend. There's nothing but materialistic, have this high vision that they want to be making 80, 90,000, 100,000 a year, straight up the bat. Bro, and they're only 18, 19, 20, bro. Realistically speaking, you can make that money. No one's stopping you. But realistically speaking, humble yourselves. Humble yourselves. Think about it. Why do you think? Our income, like the economy, is so high because everybody wants to make all this fucking big ass money. Straight up, <laughs> fucking straight up. Can you deny it? I mean, if it want, if it's not, I'm gonna be honest with you. If we just have regular people doing what they need to do, inspire themselves on being creative, whether or not it makes them money. That's the part they're doing. Their what they want to do, you know. That's the fun part in life. But like now you got people trying to do business, make everything off of business, make this just to make money. And you, you have these kids just like have these thoughts, just like making money is everything, you know, when it's not. Anyways, I'm getting <laughs> really sidetracked. Side I'm really high. Let me... I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's a... Well, I can just go ahead Shit. and ask you the next question, but before I do ask the next question, I do want to go ahead and talk about my affiliate ship with Coffee Brand Coffee. Company. Yeah. I like Coffee Brand Coffee. Yeah. That sounds just, it just sounds more off. It just sounds <laughs> correct. You have affiliations? But, yeah, I have an affiliation with Coffee Brand Company. Ooh. Coffeebrandcompany.com. It's more Coffee Brand co.com but i got three bags from them i got sticky cinnamon bun double caffeinated oh yeah i'm eating a bong <laughs> and i also got uh some i think it was the velvet velvety hot cocoa <laughs> and my god <coughs> damn i'm not <coughs> 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 Taste. Tastes good. Tastes sweet. Yeah, it's from. I think it's because of the pipe. Like a strong sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Anyways, coffee brand company is the place you want to go whenever you are getting coffee. I'm just gonna say it right now. All right, they got multiple selections, and if you use my code, you can get 10% off, and that's gonna be code Dev. Just straight up, code Dev. Not <coughs> you should go use code dev at coffee brand company.
Anyways, we're taking our intermission. <laughs> but ten percent, eh? Ten percent. That's not bad. Ten percent. Already. Welcome back from our little intermission. Nacho was hitting the bong, so I gave him his minute. But now, he's got to go on to the next question, okay? Nacho, we're going to try to keep these. Oh, I like Kate. <coughs> we're going to try to keep them short. Keep them short, sweet, simple, and quick. But, like, I want some details on some certain ones, so I'll just ask you some more questions from there. And I can start off with me and then hand it back off to you. All right. And the second question on our list today, it's gonna to be, what undiagnosed mental health issue do you think you have? And like, I've been thinking about this a lot because I'm 20 years old, and since I was at least like eight or nine, I've been going to therapists and psychiatrists, you know? Um, and the earliest medication I ever started off with was a um, ADHD medication. And then ADHD switched to anxiety medication. No, a mixture of both actually. And then like, it just kept switching. Like mental health drugs were just like a thing that was a part of my life. And if you ask me like, did you find your diagnosis? I don't know. Did the medicine help you? Oh, hell no. It affected my body for the rest of my life because I wasn't the proper age at the time. You know, like, the male body doesn't stop growing until you're 25. So technically, even though I have five more years to hopefully grow a couple more inches and at least be at least a perfect 5'9", you know? Man, I wish I could grow more. You got five more years. Man, you, I'm stuck. I've been in this high for... You, you, you don't know it until you see it. I've been stuck <laughs> since, high, since fucking high school, bro. It's, I've been out of high school for almost two years now. Listen. That's crazy. Listen. That's disgusting. I'm about to be out of... Ooh, ooh, ah. Stop. <laughs> Stop. We turn 21 at the end of this year. Mm. At the end, Nacho. And it might be February already. Mm. Wow, that was bad. But... Time flies, bro. <laughs> Time flies. Nacho, I'm just going to say it right now. I don't know what mental health issue I think I have, but if I did have a mental health issue, it'd be like if you grabbed a basket for Easter, <laughs> Easter egg hunting, and you picked up ADHD, anxiety, and depression, bipolar. No money in this one, just three more mental health issues on top of that. I probably have a lot to work on, and like one of them I feel like is probably like, I don't know how to say it, like psychosis. Mm -hmm. Like in a that I get in a state of mind, you know. Psychosis. Where, yeah, like it's just like I black out and then like it's uncontrollable, you know. Psychosis is fucking. Yeah. yeah. But the question is, <laughs> why did I develop these kind of reactions? God damn. No. <laughs> 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 What about you? Undiagnosed mental health issue you think you have? Probably like anxiety, high anxiety. Anxiety. For sure, overthinking. Overthinking. I would say that's anxiety, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm saying that because I overthink a lot. Yeah. Oh, because you overthink a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just, like, I think I developed that through my parents, through my family, basically. You know, because like. Genetic as fuck. Yeah, basically, you know, no, it's just like, I've always been like, I've always been teased since I was a little, like when I've been, like when I said, like I've been like, emotionally fucking damaged, bro, since day fucking one, bro. You know, like, it's just like, since ever since I was a little kid, bro. The bullied ones are, the bullied ones are always the ones that make it out on top. But, 
I mean, I'll say this, it never stopped me from smiling. Like, I'll say this, all the shit I've been through emotionally, bro, I'm surprised I'm still smiling. Like, I've been hurt so much, but I still put up a smile. I'm like, nah, you know. Uh, it's just, you know, like, I feel like that's how I should develop my overthinking, you know. It's just like, all these people was telling me this and this and that, but always telling me, like, damn, you know, like, how they think of me, you know, what people think of me, this, people think of me, that. But now, you know, it's not because of weed. I think not weed in the beginning helped me out a lot. Yeah. But then, you know, we just became like a day and day thing. You know, basically, I just got high just to get high. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Everybody has access to it. It's easier but than getting like anxiety meds. For me, it's just like, it was trying to become a way to just like, just to smoke. I didn't really fuck with that, you know? Cause like at that point I still had my anxiety as I smoked. It just got worse because I've just been smoking so much, you know. Yeah. So I'm just like, damn, bro. It's just like I've just been abusing weed, you know. <laughs> so I just stopped smoking. Like I haven't stopped smoking, obviously, but it's just like I don't smoke as much as I used to. Yeah. You know? It's just <clears throat> like my anxiety has stopped because of that too. Like I have like my anxiety has dropped. Not because of like I stopped smoking, it's because like truthfully, it's because like, I've been getting closer to God. You know, like I brought the Bible to my car. You know, if you want to read some shit, not some shit. If you want to read some scriptures, bro, just like here and there. Um, but it's just like I was just trying to get closer to Him, hear Him out even more. You know, that's the reason why I said I'm done with the fucking dating apps. You know, because it's yeah. like. You know, I really don't want to meet my wife on a fucking dating app, bro. You know, it's stupid, you know? Yeah. Think about it, you know? And I'm done with all that shit because it's not what I want, you know? So, like, if I'm going from what I want, that ain't it. So, it's just, like, that... I'm telling you, like, my anxiety has dropped because, like, I've realized so much shit, you know? But, yeah. I feel like that would be my undiagnosed mental illness anxiety. I say. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's not easy talking about. Um, you basically just answered the next question, so I can answer the next question because, like, it's just definitely not easy talking about. You know, mental health, in general. You know, nobody wants to admit it. No. Yeah. I've learned to admit it because of how long I've dealt with it. You know. Yeah. And, like, the next question was, like, how was that mental health, like, undiagnosis, I could say, like, how has it affected you overall in life? And, yeah, you pretty much gave me a good explanation of it, you know? No, but, I mean, it affected me. I mean, you go first. I mean, pretty simple. My mental health started while I was a kid. Um, I think it's just like I'm adopted by my grandparents and so like at the time it's just like I think my parents thought like yeah like it's probably good that we get him and hit Tristan like my brother like checked out you know like by a psychiatrist and a therapist do all the things my parents or sorry my dad was in jail at the time like, that's the unfortunate part. Like, he did try to get custody of me as soon as he got out. But, like, you look at the situation and it's just it's just not good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your being DNA is just not good enough, you know? Yeah. And, like, okay. exactly. And so, like, I'm sure I'm the only person in his, like, the I'm the only kid who hasn't stuck around in his life, you know? But, like, I, I talk to him sometimes. That, that That's a good thing. But, um, like, they had to, like, check me out and everything, you know? And, like, I think it was just, like, I like they know the bloodline, you know? Because even though I'm adopted by my grandparents, the bloodline still continues. Like, here, like, my family tree, what are you looking for? My phone, but I found it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Oh, whoa. The family tree. Family tree. Oh, yes. The family tree is like me, my mother, my father, okay? And then above my mother is my grandmother, the one who adopted me. And then I don't actually know who her dad is. Mm -hmm. But my mom later remarried my now grandfather, or my step-grandfather, adoptive dad. dad now, yeah. Step-dad dad. Step-grandfather, adoptive dad. <laughs> it sounds weird as fuck, you know? It's it, dope, though. It's called, um, it's like, there's just people, like, unfortunately, like, in my timeline, in my life, of my family, it's just, like, there's some people who have been basically just disowned out of the family. You don't talk to them anymore. They don't have a role to me, you know? And, like, honestly, like, whenever I tried to talk to them, they proved that. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. They proved that on multiple times. So I was done with it. It was over. That's fair to say. Yeah, and, like, I yelled at some of what people I thought were family members. Like, sure, they're in my bloodline, but they're not family. And it's, like, all because at the end of the day, we all got some, like, fucked up issues, you know? And, like, my grandparents, they have mental health issues. They just don't go with it. You know, my dad's old school, so, like, he's not going to admit that. <laughs> but my mom, she's she's just too busy to go to therapy, you know? As for my, like, it's just like a build-up, you know? I think it was like a family thing because our family's chaotic unless they're drunk. <laughs> when, when they're not drunk, it's an unenjoyable time. I'll just be real. I think that's where the alcoholism comes in. <laughs> you yeah. know? They, like, my mom has anxiety. She's also very ADHD and OCD. I think I developed that... I developed the OCD just being around her, but <laughs> the ADHD and the anxiety and the depression, like the multiple mental health issues that affect me on a day-to-day -day basis now, which they all came from like every single part of my family, you know? Yeah. They just built like a goddamn bomb is what they built. <laughs> like, and like... <sighs> I don't think, like, they, I don't, it's just people, like, fucking around, you know? Like, you fuck around, you find out, here's a kid, his name's Dev. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you're really gonna fuck around and find out. Nah, they fucked around, they found out. <laughs> ba da 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 ba da 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 <laughs> like them like they gave me everything I had today and does it affect me yeah I've got abandonment issues <laughs> like I, even though I was with people I recognize you know but like I was thinking about this while I was in the shower I was like it's unfair to me that I have to remember things from all the way up from like one years old because those memories did stay or some of them and most of them the bad memories, the memories that affect you, like core memories, you know? It's trauma, bro. Exactly, you it's know? It's called trauma. I shouldn't have to be able, I shouldn't have to be the person, like I shouldn't, my parents should be like showing me photos of whenever I was like one, you know? I shouldn't have to remember when I was one. I remember the layout of our house whenever I lived with my birth mom. That that hits hard, you know? Like, that brought me everything I had and it affects me on a day-to-day -day basis because sometimes I do think about it, you know? And then like, what if I'm going to do something with my friends and then I'm in a shitty mood, you know? Like, or like, I have something else going on mentally and that, well, that fucks up my relationship with my family, you know? Or like, I get something else mentally wrong and then like, I'm out of the job, not by getting fired, but by my own choice, you know? Because it's my mind like, fuck it. You don't have to be here. <laughs> you don't gotta deal with this bullshit or you don't gotta listen to this person or you don't gotta, you don't gotta do anything, you know? Mental health has affected me since 
as long as I can remember. And I'll be real, I don't think medication helped me out. It didn't. Because now it's hard to recover and like this wise. I'm like 5'7", you know? I am a strong believer that that medication stunted my growth after I found out what it was doing to me otherwise chemically, you know? Because you like, you get blood tests for certain medications and then you get told what your blood test is and like certain things you do know, certain things you don't know. And like, that's what I found out. I found out like, it affects me day to day. Yeah, every day. And I don't get, I don't, I feel like it's unfair to me, unfair to myself, that I don't get to know what's wrong with me so I can recover from it, you know, because I've done everything I thought I could do. I've been the therapist, I've been the psychiatrist, I've been mental health placements, jail. Like, what more could I possibly need, you know? Like, you think after having all these major experiments, <laughs> not experiments, or I can't fucking experiments, I would say, honestly. You think it'd be over, but it's not. And that's why I started this podcast. I want to I wanna fucking figure it out. I want to get it done. I want to record my adventures. I know I rambled on there for a minute. <laughs> because it affected me overall a lot. That's because it's, I mean, shit, bro. I mean, it's truth. I'm looking at that fat pack. Yeah. <laughs> How has mental health affected you overall? Well, first, let me respond to your shit. Do you think that your thing was pretty on point before, or do you have more to add? No, I got more to add. You got more to add? Yeah. Just like what I was saying before. I guess, yeah, applies to this, but more of it's just, for me, bro, I, I can't, I can't complain about my family, realistically speaking. Yeah, your family is stuck together pretty well. Uh, my uh, family fell into a different <laughs> universe. <laughs> yeah, that's like one thing about me. That's why I'm so weird about being in fa You know how I yeah, am. I know, you know. And she's like, my, my family finally got it too, which is, you know, that I means they still love you shit, you know. I love them too, but like, I feel weird having conversations because I'm like. No, that's fair to say, you know. Because like, my, when, it, when I come home from school, I'd be like, hey mom. She'd be like, hey, how was school? And I was like, it was good. She's like, all right. And she's like, I love you. Dinner's gonna be ready here in a bit. And then I'd go downstairs. And like, honestly, that was my fault. If I wanted to have a conversation, I should have sat there, you know? But like, you know, she just let me do my thing. No, nah, bro, that's not me, bro. Right? Me, like, hey, how was school? Good. What'd you do at school? This is, uh, oh, what happened? Did it, oh. Anything else happened? Nah. nah. <laughs> What'd you eat for lunch? Did it, like, <laughs> fucking FBI, bro. And that's the reason why, like, when we moved in, like, that's the reason why I was like, what was we now with you? And then I started doing it with my ex. I literally asked if he was an FBI yeah. agent because, like, I, I, like, he was asking me questions and, like, questions that I had never heard before. And, like, I've heard, like, half of them, and I was like... It sounded like, damn, why do you want to know so much? And I guess I didn't realize it, and I did that with my ex, too. And I told her it was for a petty reason, but it was also because, like, it's just a natural thing I do. <laughs> you know, I did do it for a petty reason, but then it's also just a natural thing I do. But that was just way too late because I said for pages. <laughs> that was all me. I ain't gonna lie. But you know, there's no switching sides. It's just you live and you learn. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> nah, bro. My over me overthinking part causes more damage than good. Yeah. You know. If I wasn't an overthinker, my anxiety wasn't always high. I'll be honest, I would like obviously I would have been where I'm at right now, you know. I'm glad, I, but the thing is, I'm happy where I'm at. Yeah. I'm happy where I'm at, cause like 
I've only had five regrets in my life. <laughs> yeah, I need no. to bring out my scroll real quick. <laughs> it's because I always try to live by my code, which is like try to live your life with no regrets. I could not do that if it's I It's not easy, bro. Because like, here's the thing, you know. I'm an overthinker, but me being an overthinker obviously gives me high anxiety. But when I was a little kid, I was always just so active, you know. That's how I got my fucking anxiety out. But, um... Uh... The way I really, like, did it was just, like... I just thought through my actions a lot. And, like, that just made me not do, like, all right, you know, don't do that shit. Yeah. You know, because, like, if, I, if I'm, like, okay, if I do that shit, you're going to regret it, you know? And if you basically... If you regret something, you're going back to step one. Yeah. I, I'm, I went back to step one because, I'll be honest, I regretted my ex. I, regret, I mean, not like, like, it's hard to say, but I regret meeting her. Del Rey me. You know, like, <laughs> I, I regret accepting her in my life after work. You know, that's, that's the thing. Like, and I don't regret I don't really, I don't regret Elizabeth. I'm still, like, I, I felt like I'm so, like, happy I met her. Yeah. But my ex, it's just like, she brought me no good, bro. It's just. I lost myself, to be honest. You gotta really look into these kind of situations. I think I've, like, realized what. I have a certain type, you know? Me too, I guess you can say. Yeah. I like petite bitches. <laughs> My type goes in, like, depth. I'm like... But <clears throat> if you're going for personality or depth, it's different. I'm like, I'm like both personality and looks, you know? I don't do the cuter or uglier thing. Like, I don't care if you're cute or uglier than I am. Just have, like, somewhat of a great personality. And you'll be cute. You'll be hot. Like that's pretty much how you do it. It's a good personality, because I'm a I'm I'm just gonna say it. I'm a pretty shitty person, and like I hate like I know people don't want me to say that, you know. But like I've proven it to myself multiple times on end, you know. And so I need to like I need to fucking fix that. Yeah. I need to fix that. I used to be a great person. I I was a kid. I can't be a kid again. Yeah, like we can't, like we can't be a kids, no. you know. We can't. 